Nathan and Sanja Wilkes have three children, daughters Nora and Natalie, and son Thomas, their second born. We had our second child in 2003, and within a day, um, they said, hey, he's, you know, he's bleeding uncontrollably. They diagnosed him with severe hemophilia. Severe hemophilia is a bleeding disorder, so he needed medication to control the bleeding. That's when we started getting crazy bills, even though we had insurance. $50,000 bill um, came within a couple weeks. So as he's growing up, as he's requiring medication, has injuries, we need to treat it, um, those bills start to add up, and they ultimately put a lifetime cap on the plan. You know, at that point, Thomas was a $750,000 a year child, and he wasn't even a year old. What were we going to do? How were we going to pay for his medication? Then we realized, oh, now they're using lifetime caps to get rid of us. The technology has improved greatly in just one generation, and to the point where with, with clotting factor replacement, which is the medication that Thomas gets on a daily basis, his blood can stay at a normal level to where it can clot. So that's why it's so important that he get his medication. You know, regularly he might, you know, might cost thirty, forty thousand dollars a month to keep him to keep him sustained and, and that's normalized. That's without bleeding. I mean, if, if he's if he's bleeding, that that cost per month can easily be doubled or tripled. In my mind, I kept going back to the hematologist saying he can have a perfectly normal life, but not if he doesn't have access to his medication. And so that was, it was really frightening for us of how are we going to pay for him to, to have that normal life. It's the Affordable Care Act gets rid of the lifetime caps. So we're no longer worried about you know, how long is this insurance going to last us. As long as we're paying the premiums, we can keep it and we can keep him covered and, and well.